me and Martin in, in Hangbei who played Will. Yeah, we Dr. were we were so vexed because we didn't have our blue ticks straight away. You look incredible. The sun is shining today. I hope it's shining where you are in London. It's beautiful. It's made me just think. Oh, how are you feeling? I feel fantastic, and the sun is sort of shining. It's it's a little bit overcast where I am, but no complaints. Lockdown has been pretty chaotic for all of us, um, but I feel like for you, it's been pretty awesome as well. Uh, yeah. Life has completely changed. You've got this new movie out soon, um, which I'm really excited about. I got to see this week. You were awesome in it. You look so young, firstly, can I just say? You look so Thank young. You. Bridgerton, um, also your verified Instagram account holder now. Uh, how are you feeling? I feel absolutely incredible. I feel yeah. very, very lucky because this lockdown has been hard on everyone and for me with Bridgerton coming out it's given me so much to focus on and keep my mind busy so I'm just really grateful that I had that opportunity and that it's just given me stuff to do during lockdown. I know I love all the art in your room by the way I love it because you're creating you. that must keep you sane um how to stop a recurring dream oh my god um congratulations Yakira mum mum we were a pretty good family for a while weren't we? a great intense role for you to take on yeah and it, it was an intense film to shoot I mean we shot it in about two weeks so we, we were running to the next setup and stuff like that. Um, it was it was a crazy film to shoot, and obviously the budget was tiny in comparison to Bridgerton. Um, but none of that mattered because we had a fantastic script, we had a great team, we had a great director, hot talent, and I think everybody's hearts were just in the right place when it came to making this film. Um, from every department, and that's why it all just came together. This recurring dream is hunting it's me. Also, what a contrast compared to like Marina, you know, what we've seen you doing first, because that came out first, obviously, Bridgerton. And I think it really also for me was pretty exciting because I thought for you, Ruby, as an actress, to have something out, uh, two things that are completely different, it just shows your versatility as well, which is pretty exciting, right? Yeah, to yeah, totally. Because, um, yeah, they, they come from completely different worlds. Um, but, and they're very different characters. But at the same time, they have a lot of uh, simi similarities as well. Um, both are complex, both are fiery, you know. And these are just qualities that I personally love in, in characters, in female characters. And, um, yeah, I think I just like, I get that from my mother, to be honest. <laughs> No, that's good. I think it's really nice to play those sort of characters as well for you as an actress because they're kind of flawed, but they're still people with good hearts. And that's like really nice because you get to play exactly. the Do you know what I mean? Because that is normal people, isn't it, really? And there's a big, intense road trip. I don't want to spoil it for people when they watch it, but it's pretty, like everything that could happen happens to your character. Um, in real life, have you got anything that comes close to that, like a road trip? Like, what do you like on road trips? Are you the one that picks the playlist? Um, <laughs> no, but I've had some crazy road trips, you know, I've travelled all over Tanzania <laughs> with um, with Rally International, who yeah. is an international development charity, mm. and I went out to Africa when I was 17, <laughs> and it was wild, because it was just a bunch of 17 to 25 year olds leaving home for the first time, going to like Africa, do you know what I mean, and it was yeah, that was a crazy road trip. And on the bus, on the front of the bus, there was a sticker that said, and the roads in Tanzania are some of the most dangerous in the world. But the sticker on the front of our bus said, this bus is protected by the blood of Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> Which was quite funny. And a um, <laughs> bit, bit daunting, bit scary. Yeah. Probably because they hit him over about five miles behind, but. They hope you can forgive us. I have to talk about Bridgerton as well. Instagram, firstly, was it surreal? Like seeing the follower count just go. Yeah, it was insane. Like, because it happened over the course of like a couple of weeks. Yeah. You know, the followers just kept coming and coming and coming. And what, what was, what's really nice about it is, is that 
each one of those followers is somebody that's watched my performance and enjoyed it and I've connected with them on some personal level for them to seek me out and follow me. So it, it really is the nicest feeling. And do any of you as a cast, do you all sit down and think, have you got your verified tick yet? What's going on? Because like all of you have become kind of overnight stars, haven't you? Yeah, me me and Martin in Hang Bay, who played Will. Yeah. We were we were so vexed because we didn't have our blue ticks straight away. So we were messaging each, messaging each other like every other day, like, when are we gonna get our blue tick? <laughs> and then we got it, so it's all fine. That man is not who you believe him to be, Lady Featherington. It is not George, but his brother, Sir Philip. Even though they're based on books, they are kind of, people do tend to like sometimes change the story slightly um, when they're doing it into TV or film form. So um, if you could, Ruby, pick anything for her in the next kind of however many chapters are coming, um, what would you love to see happen for her? If I could, I would love Marina to find love. Mm. Find new love. I love the clothes, by the way. I'm a big fan of corsets. I have one Vivian Westwood corset, which I adore, but it's uncomfortable, but beautiful. Nice. <laughs> but um, I think it's also from a female gaze, like we get to look at the guys as well. And normally it's always like women, you know, shown off like as being sexy, attractive. And I think Shonda and the team have absolutely reversed that. Yeah, yeah. It's about female pleasure, you know? It's, it's not the male gaze. You know, um, it's integral to the story and to the character, and it's it's there for a reason. And um, I think the way that uh, Daphne's sexual journey is portrayed in Bridgerton, I think it's really beautiful, and I think they they did it really well. I'm so glad that they um, had characters. Um, like your character, Marina, because I think it was just really interesting to see what was going to happen with her, because you never quite knew like what decision she was going to make, what way she was going to go. Um, did you love playing her? And you must have enjoyed all the dress up, because I know even though most of the time we're in jeans and t-shirts, to wear those gowns like must have been unbelievable. Yeah, it was like being a princess every day. It was fantastic. It's also just nice being on being in costume because you don't need to worry about dressing yourself, you know. I loved seeing such a diverse cast and I think and it's like normalising it and not, oh look, there's a black person, oh there's a brown person. Um, how did you feel about those conversations? Because you must be seeing them, Ruby, everyone's having them about Bridgerton and just about the industry in general. I never thought that I would ever have the opportunity to be in a period drama simply because of the colour of my skin. Mm. Um, and then Shonda Rhimes comes along, the heavens open, a, a role lands on my lap in a period drama. It doesn't matter the fact that I look like this, you know, it's, it's not, it's not, that's not important, you know, it's just, it's just everything, the diversity that she's brought. And I think that it shows yeah. that it can be successful as well like Bridgerton's the most watched show on Netflix ever you know ah. moving forward it's going to create change in the industry and hopefully there'll be more colorblind casting and stuff like that this is what they have been trained for since birth which young ladies might succeed at securing a match you've always amused me Miss Bridgerton but um it just looked like such fun yeah, it was a lot of fun. There were some serious Is This Our Lives moments. Like, we got to stay in some genuinely beautiful places. Yeah. And there was a spa at one hotel I got to stay in. And I, I lapped that up. And let me tell you what I would do for a spa. Well, I think what all of us would do for a spa right now. There is nothing you cannot do. 